Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will be showing you how to add your home lab projects to your resume. This was requested recently on the channel and I think it's a good idea to make a video about this because we have been making labs recently for Windows Server, Active Directory, GPO, File Management. And if you have set up projects just like that, I think it's really important to showcase them, especially if you don't have any work experience related to tech or IT before. I think building projects like this will help you gain more skills and you can also put it on the resume just to show that you're willing to learn the skills and also it shows initiative on your end that even though you don't have any experience yet, you are still learning through hands-on training. Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how to put those home lab skills on your resume. I have a sample of resume in here so you can have a guide as well. So if you're interested in this topic and this video, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for example, you already have your resume format. You have started building your resume with your educational background, your certification, and work history. You're probably wondering where you can put your home lab skills in your resume. So let's get started with the section first. So you are going to put it on a separate section on your resume, just like how you put the technical summary, your educational background, and work history on different sections. Okay, so for the new section on your resume, you are also going to give it a title, and this is up to you, but I can give you a few ideas. You can name it Home Lab Projects or Technical Projects. So for example, this is my resume. I am going to name it Technical Projects and I'm going to put it under my Technical Summary so they would see right away what projects I've worked on. Next is you're going to name your project. You're going to put all of your projects in the Technical Projects section. And if you have more than one project, feel free to add that as well. So you're going to create titles for your projects. For example, Windows Server 2022 Home Lab Setup. It's really important to put the actual software versions of whatever projects you worked on so the hiring managers and the employers would see if you have worked on the more current technologies and if you're a good fit for the company because they are also using the same technology. And below the title, just put the date on the duration on how long you built or set up the project. Okay, so here's my resume. So I'm just gonna add. All right, so next is the details of the project. This is where you will have more description on what the project is about. So once you have the title, you can go deeper with the details that you want to showcase on your resume. So you can add the objective on what the project is about. So what was the goal of your project? So for our Windows project, you want to set up a server environment to practice Active Directory management and network configuration. So this is a statement that best describes what the project is for. So you have set up the Windows Server because you want to practice your Active Directory management skills because you haven't experienced using Active Directory before. That's why you set up your own. So that's an example of how you can add an objective for your project. Next, also very important when you're building your resume is the tools and the technologies that you're using. This is also very important when you're writing your resume if you have work experience and you have to be as specific as possible with the software version especially because they want to see how up-to-date you are with the current technology. Of course, if you're gonna put something on your resume that you have experience with, they don't want something that is obsolete. Like, don't put Windows XP as your operating system that you're proficient on because that's obsolete. So as much as possible, be specific with that. Just like on this project, Project. For example, you have to put what virtualization platform you use, for example, VMware, VirtualBox, Proxmox, what version of Windows Server, if you use 2019, 2016, 2022, that's very important. Also, don't forget to add all of the tools that we have used to set up this lab, like Active Directory tools and GPMC for group policy in here. And also, don't forget to add the client that you use, if you use Windows 10, Windows 11, Pro, or Enterprise. And lastly, you should add all of the tasks that you have done. This is a more detailed explanation on what setup you have done. And this also describes the scope of the project. And this also is a good way to show your employers what they can also expect from you because you have already done some stuff on your projects like installing a Windows server on a virtual machine. You have already set up Active Directory and you know how to manage and create users, groups, and OUs. Under GPOs, you can also 
specify all of the GPOs that you have set up. At least it will give the manager an idea on what kind of GPOs you're, you have worked on. And don't forget another concept that you have done, which is file sharing. So this is a really good way to showcase your working knowledge and the hands-on skill that you have, even if you don't have any work experience yet. At least you have an idea on how things work, how to set them up, how to configure them. Okay, so if we look into our resume now, this is what it's going to look like. You have the title here and the date, the objective here for your project, tools and technology, and the tasks that you have done. So you can also add different projects in here. For example, you also have another technical project. You can put it under here and just follow the same format. Okay, so now that you've added your home labs on your resume, don't forget to add them also to your relevant skills. And this is your skills sections, your technical skills section, wherever you put your skills on the resume. So just add what you have gained or improved on your home projects. For example, Windows Server Administration, because you've set up and built your own Windows Server, installed it and configured it. Active Directory Management, because you have done all the configuration and management for users, groups, and OEMs use and network configuration as well because you've set up a static IP address DNS on the home lab server and added it to the domain so these are the examples of relevant skills that you can add on your resume for example I'm going back to my resume in here I can add it under technical summary in here like Windows Okay, so I just added Windows Server Administration, Active Directory Management, and Network Configuration in here. That correlates to the projects that I've had and showcased under my technical projects. Okay, so if you're also interested, I do have a template of an IT resume that you can use as a guide. It's on the website, eastcharmer.com, and you can click on resources, and it's under IT guide, and it's called IT resume template. So you can view this or download this as your guide. This has the technical projects that we have talked about earlier and also some other ideas on how you can build up your resume. Okay, so that would be it for today's video. This is how you can add your home lab project on your resume. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions and I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.